All right, this is going to be an overview and review of the uh, 40 to 4 volt DC to DC step down voltage regulator module sold by uh, banggood.com. So, when you get the module, it comes in this static proof bag. Um, in the bag, you get a small baggie with uh, standoffs and nuts, and you get the converter module. So, at first glance, the module has a very good fit and finish. I don't see any issues with the solder joints. Um, all the components appear to be pretty well centered on their pads. The same with the back of the module, no issues with solder joints. Um, everything looks good there. You have a nice big um, LED display. You have a LM2596 um, voltage regulator with a pot to adjust the output voltage. You got your input side, your output side, and two switches. So what I'll do now is I'll power it up with a nine volt battery and um, explain the switches and how the pot works. Okay, we get it powered up with a nine volt battery here. And first thing you need to know is this switch right here turns the display on. Once your display is on, you have an output LED and an input LED. So when the output LED is lit, this display is showing you output voltage. You push the button, and now the input LED is lit. And when the input LED is lit, the display is displaying the input voltage. Switch back to output voltage. Now, like I said, you have your pot right here for adjusting your, your output voltage. Turning the pot clockwise will raise your voltage. Turning the pot counterclockwise will lower your voltage. Now, it's important to know before you order this that the input voltage is a minimum of 4 volts DC and a maximum of 40 volts DC. And the output voltage is a minimum of 1.25 volts DC and a maximum of 37 volts DC. And another note that's important is your desired output voltage, I'm sorry, your input voltage must be at least 1.5 volts higher than your desired output voltage. So if you want to output 5 volts, you have to put in at least 6.5 volts. So, um, one other thing I wanted to point out is the fact that the display has an accuracy of plus or minus 5%. Um, that's what the specification is on it. I've found, I have, I bought five of these, and I found that they range about two and three tenths of a volt off. And what I'll do right now is I'll hook up a multimeter on the output and I'll just give you an example of that. Here we are with a multimeter hooked up to the output of our voltage regulator. And like I said, um, these tend to range from about two tenths to three tenths of a volt off as far as accuracy goes, um, which really isn't a big deal. You know, once you know what, you know, how far off it is, um, you can just take that into effect, into account when you're, um, when you're setting it up. Um, and the reason I say that is, I found that it is linear. So, let me switch hands here so you can see it. If you bring this down to say three volts, our output is 3.2 volts. If we bring it up to six volts, six volts, the output is 6.22 volts. So the, the variance is linear, which is a good thing, and it is predictable. So, you know, I'll just keep in mind, I'll probably just write on the back of this unit that it's two tenths of a volt higher than displayed and, and just keep it at that. Um, a few things I forgot to mention before. Um, when you shut the display off, this button only shuts the display off. So if you shut the display off, it's still outputting voltage it just shuts the display off so it'll you know reduce the amount of um, current that the unit's drawing 
and also the the chip itself is um, over current protected and has a thermal shutdown so if the chip overheats or um, there's too much current draw on the chip it will shut down and protect itself it won't be damaged um, there's two different um, voltage out uh, sorry current outputs listed on um, Banggood's website um, under the description of the unit it's, it states it as a guaranteed 3 amp output load current but if you move down to specifications it gives you an output current of uh, 2 amps continuous so I'm not sure I haven't really tested it yet um, if I do test it I'll be sure to, to put a video up and explain that as well but all in all um, I'm very happy with the unit I have a particular project in mind for this and it's going to work great so I would definitely recommend this product to anybody looking for a uh, DC to DC voltage regulator. So thank you, and if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe.